side brain section that I was uh, provided. Um, and we're gonna do the tile of the full brain right now. I'll slide it onto the scope. Lovely. All right, so we're gonna begin by getting a preview image here of the slide. Uh, I'm gonna do that by loading up this preview setting. It's already sitting here. The benefit of that preview setting is that I get this uh, whole slide context. So I, this is the label area, this is where the sample is, and I can identify where it is that I wanna tile very easily uh, using one of these tile tools. So I know that the brain is on this side of the slide. I'm gonna tile that region. I could really tile anywhere that I wanted to. I could tile the whole slide if I wanted to, but I know the brain's somewhere around here. So I'm gonna do uh, that region there. Good, lovely. And I'm gonna say uh, just a, a quick um, preview to make sure that the intensity is reasonable uh, and that I'm in focus. I'm using the mouse wheel as a focus wheel. So um, I don't have to go over to the scope to do that. And I set the Z for that, good. And let's do the preview scan then. So I switch to preview and I say start. So um, I could do this preview scan in fluorescence. Um, I'm doing it in transmitted light. I could do it in fluorescence and transmitted. Anything that the scope can image, really, I can do the preview scan in that mode. Um, I'm doing it in transmitted light because I really just need to know where the brain is in order to know where I'm going to scan. Um, so I don't need any more information than, than to the physical location. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could have that physical location and, and some context with some fluorescence. There we go. We've got pretty much the whole brain as a preview here. So this is taking us, I don't know how long this is taking us. I guess we're, we're two minutes into the, the video. Um, we're ready to go with identifying where it is that we want to scan. So I'm going to move over to my scan settings. So now I'm acquiring with confocal. Previously, this was with the camera. I don't know if you can see, there's a, a camera on the other side of this scope here. So that's what I was using for the acquisition of the preview. Now I, I will say I've uh, set the gain and the um, laser power for acquisition here so that I know it's reasonably close to what I wanna see. Um, I don't think there's any reason to uh, to go through that with everybody watching. So again, I'm using the, the mouse wheel as a focus. Uh, I've flipped up to 20x. The machine did it for me already because I specified that I was gonna scan in 20x. This looks pretty good, I think. Let's just take a look through the channels. So Dappy looks good. Uh, that's the far red. That could actually be tweaked up a little bit maybe. Let's do that, okay. Oh no, sorry, that was the mid-red. This is the, the far red here. There we go, beautiful, okay. So, we're all set. Um, I've got the acquisition parameters already configured so that I'm acquiring with a 2x uh, uh, scan zoom um, with full confocal resolution, uh, good to go. And I don't need to do anything more. I'm, I'm uh, oh, sorry, yeah, the most important part of this. I need to define where it is that I'm gonna scan. So I've got, I open up my tiling tools and I pick a draw tool. This is really the limiting factor of the whole thing is my ability to draw with a mouse. There is a way to further automate this so that even this step is, is uh, automatic. Uh, that's a little teaser. We're not gonna go into that here in this video. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, how many tiles? 4,596 tiles. Uh, we're gonna produce a 28 gig image and it's gonna take us two hours to acquire. 
Let me just double check that I'm still happy with this, uh, the image as it is, lovely. I move to the center of the tile just by double clicking on it, wonderful. And I'm gonna say start experiment. Okay, I get a little notice here that definite focus is going to initialize. Uh, definite focus is this box here on the side of the microscope. And what it's doing is tracking the uh, surface of the slide so that if there's any tilt to the slide i'm going to move the objective with the tilt if you look on the focus control panel here you can see that the current focus position is changing as we acquire and that's the impact of the definite focus so you don't have to move around within the the brain and set different focus points to ensure that you remain in focus uh, it's all being done for you. It's really just draw, set the intensity, click, go, and we're set. I do also want to point out that um, I mentioned I was at Scan Zoom 2. Uh, so this is a relatively small field of view compared to what I could have. I, I can go up to uh, uh, 0.5. So this is four times uh, smaller in X and four times smaller in Y. So I could do this faster. But if I do this with a really big scan area, then when I change, if this is in focus and then this is in focus and it's a really large area, then fine structures are gonna get lost at the point between planes. So you get a much better image when you tile with a smaller field of view. You don't lose uh, some of these structures that might um, not appear between uh, tile regions if I was to use really large tiles. So I've sacrificed a little bit of scan speed for the sake of making sure that I don't have this uh, discontinuity of the, of the sample when I change focus. Does that make sense? I hope so. The, the focus maintenance is more granular. That's maybe a better way to say it. I don't know. All right, um, so that's a, a setup. It took us uh, seven and a half minutes, even with me yapping away to describe what's going on. Um, I can check also my location here if I want to. So there's the crosshair that shows me where I am. I can check my progress here. I'm on 74 of 4,596. Um, everything's booting along nicely. Uh, yeah, less than eight minutes to set up. Uh, I would have taken about the same amount of time to set up uh, two slices. And if I wanted to acquire it lower resolution, this is worth mentioning. Uh, because I'm not really sure that it's necessary for what you're doing with this downstream that you have this full confocal resolution. I was using half this resolution, so that means uh, half in X, half in Y, one quarter. Um, and because that allowed me to increase the scan speed as well, I got down to just under 20 minutes, I think, to acquire the full brain section. Uh, so that's a consideration that there's a lot of room here to play with the parameters to optimize the scan speed. All right, let's let this run and I will provide you the data. Thanks for your attention. Um, I will talk to you soon.